This is your Adventist News, a service of the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. I'm Stanley Fillard. In this week's broadcast, SBC mourns Adventist pioneer and health ministries outreach impacts Eleuthera. These stories and more on this week's Adventist News. The South Bahamas Conference mourns the loss of a pioneer in the Adventist community. Pastor Neville Emmanuel Scavella passed away at Doctors Hospital on Tuesday, October 25, 2022. He was 92 years old. Pastor Scavella was one of the first of two Bohemians that studied theology and then employed as a pastor in the Bahamas Mission in 1955. He was an evangelist at heart and led thousands of individuals to know Jesus as their Lord and their Savior. Among his many contributions to the Adventist Church, Pastor Scavella assisted the Book and Bible House in Nassau, served as departmental director and district pastor until 1967. In 1973, Scavella was elected as Secretary of the Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. His service extended beyond the Bahamas mission field, when he became president of the Cayman Islands Mission in 1983. In his later years, he returned to the Bahamas, where he served as district pastor until his retirement. Throughout his ministry, he was instrumental in building numerous Seventh-day Adventist churches in Nassau and the Family Islands, including the Good News and Freeport Churches, rebuilt the Bluff Church in Eleuthera, and the Cockburn Town Church in San Salvador. His enthusiasm for church planting continued during this time in the Cayman Islands, where he acquired property for the mission field and built a state-of-the-art mission headquarters. Pastor Scavella also impacted the larger Bohemian community and served as a former Royal Bahamas Defense Force chaplain. Left to mourn are his wife, Mistress Alwyn Scavella, his sisters, Mistress Naomi McKinney, Miss Yvonne Scavella, sons, Dr. Paul A. Scavella, Mr. Gardell Scavella and Todd Benneby, along with their wives, children, great-grandchildren, numerous nieces, nephews, and other relatives. We pray that the Scavella family will find comfort in Christ during their time of bereavement. The funeral service for Pastor Scavella will be held on Friday, November 11, 2022 at 11 a.m. at the Hillview Seventh-day Adventist Church, Tony Williams Darling Highway. On October 21st through the 23rd, the Health Ministries Department of our conference brought hope and health to the members of the Tarpon Church and their community in Eleuthera, where Pastor Johnny Davalmar serves as the district pastor. The week was filled with community outreach efforts. On Friday, the team, led by the Health Ministries Director for the South Bahamas Conference, Mrs. Natalie LaCroix, visited the shut-in members and some persons in the community providing glucose and blood pressure checks. Later that afternoon, a presentation on the eight natural laws of health was given at the Tarpon Bay Primary School, which was said to be well received by the administration, teachers, and students. On Sabbath morning, Lacroix presented on six strategies to reduce brain atrophy, and on Saturday night, during the first night of the Family Life Crusade being held in the district, a presentation on natural remedies was done by Osmond and Natalie Lacroix. The health ministers provided further blood screening for the community in the afternoon at the church, where 30 persons were administered health checks. The Tarpon Bay community is grateful to our health department for their ministry. The Ministry of Youth Sports and Culture ended the month of October with the Bahamas National Youth Awards last week. The event held at the Miles Monroe Diplomat Center saw the country's top youth achievers being recognized for their hard work, dedication, and commitment to excellence. The celebration and acknowledgement of talented young men and women also included a number of our Seventh-day Adventist youth as nominees in various categories. Chaplain Gibson LaCroix of Bahamas Academy was the overall winner for the Youth in Religion Award, while Nathan McPhee from the Johnson Park Church won his category for Youth in Arts and Culture. Both Chaplain LaCroix and Nathan had this to say about their individual triumphs. I am deeply honored to receive this award from the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Culture, recognizing the hard work, commitment and dedication towards youth leadership and religion. I am so delighted and feel very appreciated to even be a nominee. 
I thank God for the calling upon my life in the work of youth ministry and for his continual initiative and creative insight with the young people. With God, I can do all things. With that, I am absolute that my efforts will bear fruits and enhance the lives of many. Furthermore, I would like to dedicate this award to the late sister Altamine knows. I am who I am today because of her efforts. Also to the Bahamas Academy family for their continual prayer and support. Being noticed for this distinguished award brings great joy into my heart. However, not that I strive to be recognized, but this award will definitely push me to continue and to do what I do to achieve greater. It feels really good to be acknowledged not only as a creative, but also as a Christian Adventist creative on a national level by your country alongside so many other talented and well-deserving individuals. And I just want to say to anyone that's watching this video who have not yet gave their life to Christ, please do. When I came into the church around the same time, October 23rd, about a year ago, to now, my life has been completely transformed. And making that decision opened the doorway for opportunities like this. And so if you really want to see God move, let him take control of your life. Give your life to Christ. Other Adventist youth nominated were Arthur Nick Jones of the Bethany Church in the area of youth in leadership and governance. Shante Deal from the Johnson Park Church, who was one of the top three finalists for youth in leadership category. Miguel Scavella of the Bethany Church and Maya Green of the Johnson Park Church, nominated in the category of youth in the environment. The Pathfinder organization also placed in the top three finalists for Youth Organization Award. The South Bahamas Conference extends congratulations to all nominees and winners. After this commercial break, we will have more on what's coming up in the South Bahamas Conference. The Bible says in Matthew 21, 16, that from the lips of children and infants, the Lord has called forth His praise. As Christians, we must ensure that our children are being raised in the fear and admonition of the Lord to prepare them for the latter days. When those times come, they will remember to call on the Lord to be saved so that God can forgive them of their sins and they can receive eternal life. So remember that theirs is the kingdom of God. And coming up in the South Bahamas Conference, this weekend on November 5th, beginning at 9 a.m., the Youth Retreat for the South Bahamas Conference will be held at the Bahamas Youth Camp on Gladstone Road. Youth are encouraged to discover their lane in ministry and receive true fulfillment with God. Registration is closed for this event, but we pray that our youth will be blessed by the day's activities. The sixth quadrennial session of the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists will convene at the Hillview Seventh-day Adventist Church on Tony Williams Darling Highway on Sunday, November 13th and Monday, November 14th, 2022. Please note that online registration for these sessions will commence at 10 a.m. via our conference's website on Monday, October 31st, 2022, and will continue until 12, known on Friday, November 11th, 2022. Church's delegates have already been elected for these sessions and all delegates are invited to be present at this 6th Quadrennial Conference session. Every member of the South Bahamas Conference is also invited to participate in 40 days of prayer for the session which will conclude on November 14, 2022 as we seek to elect conference leaders for the next four years. For the last 10 days of prayer, joint SBC prayer sessions will be held via Zoom inclusive of week of prayer. See the conference website for more information on this. And on November 9th through the 13th, 2022, the annual ASI Convention for the English-Speaking Territories will be held in Barbados. Please contact an ASI representative if you are interested in attending this event. And why not sign up for ASI today? Feel free to visit the South Bahamas Conference website at southbahamasconference.org to receive more information on all of our upcoming conference events. There. You can also view a rebroadcast of the Adventist News Update along with other local programming from our cable channel, ATV 658, read the weekly logos, as well as the Adventist page from the Nassau Guardian. It is 
said that children are our future. But they are not only the future, they are our now. Kids are like sponges. They suck up everything they see or learn. Here are some healthy tips for healthy habits. When you and your children feel like snacking, instead of reaching for cookies or chips, which are high in calories and low in nutrients, try reaching for snacks such as fruits, unsalted nuts, or air-popped popcorn. Oftentimes, we reach for sugary drinks and juice. Although some juices are healthy energy boosters, make water their first choice. Eating in front of the television is very tempting. Instead, encourage your children to eat at the table, which will help with their social skills. Fruits and vegetables come in many different colors. Each color has its own set of unique disease-fighting chemicals. Make eating fun for your kids by preparing a colorful snack and cut them into different shapes, making eating more interesting. Why not try these fun snacks and provide our children with a bright, healthy future? I am Parisha Ferguson with your health tip, courtesy of Adventist Television. And remember, God wants us to prosper and be in good health. Let's go now to the Adventist News Network with our news feature from around the world. More than 200 people living in remote communities of Vanuatu, a South Pacific country made up of more than 80 islands, receive free dental treatments as part of a health outreach event organized by the Seventh-day Adventist Church. The volunteer team, which included three dentists from Australia, ran eight full-day clinics in two weeks across five islands in three different provinces. They treated 276 patients from 40 different villages and communities and performed more than 400 extractions, among other dental treatments. The team flew on small five-seater planes, walked through plantations, drove through rugged terrain, and even traveled on banana boats to reach the communities. Well, that's it for our Adventist news from the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. To share what is happening at your church, please email your news stories and upcoming events to sbcadventistnews at gmail.com. To view a rebroadcast of the Adventist news along with other programming and to keep in touch with what's happening in our conference, visit our website at southbahamasconference.org. The SBC Media Network's Facebook and Instagram pages are filled with lots of material from the Communications Department, so you would want to check those out and remember to subscribe, to like, to follow, and share. You can listen to programs from our radio station, Word SBC 88.3 FM, and watch our Adventist television channel, ATV 658, to get updates, insights, and first-hand information from the SBC Media Network as it happens. The programming from ATV 658 can also be viewed on the South Bahamas Conference YouTube channel, so feel free to watch a recap of our Adventist news there. On behalf of our production team, it was our pleasure bringing you tonight's news update. I'm Stanley Fillord for the SBC Media Network. Have a happy Sabbath.